In a world where climate change is raising sea levels and increasing extreme weather, where half of the global population will live in water-stressed areas in just four short years away, it's critical that we come together as industry leaders in announcing and achieving ambitious sustainability commitments. Microsoft has pledged to become net negative in our carbon footprint and water positive by 2030. In that same time, Ecolab has pledged to help customers conserve 300 billion gallons of water each year, equivalent to the annual drinking water needs of a billion people. As someone who manages Microsoft data centers, technology is a key focus area for me in helping us meet our sustainability goals. I'm here today with Christoph Beck, CEO of Ecolab, and Judson Althoff, Chief Commercial Officer at Microsoft. One of the things we learned throughout the pandemic is that no business is 100% resilient, uh, but that digital businesses and those fortified with some digital capability are more resilient than others. The good news here is, is that whilst we've been investing in a lot of digital tech to empower businesses around the world throughout the pandemic, we've also been uh, in parallel investing forward on sustainability and without frankly even knowing it uh, because that same type of digital capability makes a company more capable of addressing its sustainability goals and that's really what we're gonna focus on today. Um, what excites me about it is this is what I call a cake and eat it too moment. Um, you know, sustainability, I think, uh, has been challenging to adopt uh, inside of uh, corporations around the world because largely it's come with a price tag. Mm -hmm. And people have not wanted to pay the premium for uh, sustainable solutions. That's not the case with our topic today and how we're going to drill into it. We have found a way through the mastery of digital twins in our partnership with Ecolab uh, to be able to drive huge operational savings through the use of digital twins and at the same time uh, reduce carbon footprint, reduce water consumption. And so you'll see throughout the discussion today that um, we're pretty proud of how technology will play a role here uh, to not only drive your sustainability goals, but to do so in an economically viable way. Seems to be, uh, it's every day is water day for me, uh, as we discussed just before the session. Uh, but today is a very special day so as well. So for us, we had um, just before um, that session, um, the first steering committee of all the CEOs of the United Nations um, uh, Water Resilience Coalition, which was a first step towards bringing 150 companies to solve the world water challenges. We've been in water for a very long time as a company, and it's always been part of our promise to customers that water safety savings will ultimately lead to energy savings. And that was the easiest way for us to get some dollar savings from everything we were providing to customers. But um, I'd say uh, 10 plus years ago, we suddenly realized that water was not just a mean to an end, but became or could become an existential threat. So we said, we needed to do something. And that's why 10 years ago, we said the old way of a uh, Taking water, using water, dumping water and optimize that would not work. And that's where we needed to double down, invest in technology. And that's where we created that partnership together with Microsoft to get technology, data science, predictive analytics, AI, so to bring it together and ultimately reuse and recycle water as well as we can. But the truth is that water doesn't like to be recycled. Uh, you get a lot of problem when you reuse the water that's been used uh, as such. But with digital technology today, we can trace the water flows. We can, uh, with 3D tracer technology, we have sensors that can measure those water flows as well. We get all that information in the Ecolab 3D cloud that's been built on Microsoft Azure uh, over the last few years. And we can remote monitor all that so remotely, which was very handy, obviously, so during um, the pandemic. And last but not least, it's the next generation of what we're doing together, building those twins, um, where it's about optimizing a whole process in a factory and across factories as well. So we're seeing today that there are solutions to get to this net zero that make business sense as well. And interestingly enough, it's doing what nature has been doing for millions of years. It's basically so to reuse and recycle water in a way that we can keep growing while protecting the environment.